with the Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. My name is Kwame. This is a day in the life of an MRI tech. Um, I'm going to show you all the things at my job, the stuff I do. But first, I'm going to get ready, take a shower, change, make my lunch, eat something, and then we're going to roll on out. What's up? We just got to my job. Um, we're gonna go open up shop, get everything ready, and I'm gonna show you guys everything, the whole process. So let's go. My name is Kwame, I'm an MRI tech. Today I'm gonna be showing you a day in my life. I've been making uh, YouTube videos for about four years. So if you haven't already, please like, subscribe. I'm gonna show you um, a typical day of what I do here. Um, I'm gonna do my best to show you everything I can, but of course I can't show any patients, any patient information. Um, I do have my wife here, so I will be scanning her, showing you, you know, how everything works. Um, typical day I come in turn on all the lights check out the uh, dressing rooms make sure everything's stocked come back in here you know turn the lights on in here turn the system on make sure everything's good then I'm gonna hop on here check my orders make sure we got you know order matches the indication and yeah that's it all right looks like the first patient is an abdomen with and without contrast. Um, so we're definitely gonna have to start an IV. Said they had prior imaging, it was done somewhere else. So we have to ask them where they had it, what types of imaging they had. Um, yeah, so we're gonna set that up and I'll show you guys the dressing room real quick, show you what that looks like. We're gonna have to screen the patient, make sure they are safe to enter the MRI room, make sure they don't have any implants. I'll show you guys uh, MRI screening form two. And yeah, so let's go check it out. Ginger shot. Let's <laughs> start it off, you know. Whew. Spice it. Do everything we can to stay healthy. Dealing, dealing with all these patients, you know. Man, gotta mask up, all right? Mask up, all right, let's go. Let's go, you guys ready? So I'm going to show you guys the MRI slash CT patient waiting area. This is it. 
You've got a nice view. You got some uh, nice art on the wall. You guys want to check the art out? Check this out. That's an old uh, employee that used to work here. Heather, she did that. She won the first place at the fair. So yeah, shout out to her. This is it. Nothing crazy. You got the gowns. This is what the gown looks like. Like that, open to the back. And then you got some pants, different sizes. And put the pants on, all right? That's it. Everybody has to change because you cannot wear any metal in MRI. A magnet could heat you up and burn you. So, yeah. Then they're just gonna lock everything in here and they take this little ball. Wiffle ball, some people call it a pickle ball, if you know what that is. And yeah, we put some uh, examples of implants up here. You got a pacemaker, deep brain stimulator, aneurysm clips and coils, BP shunt, neurostimulators, there's all kind of stuff. So we gotta verify that these are safe, okay, before they enter the room. Um, so yeah, that's that. This is where they get changed. All right, so now we're gonna go set up, get everything going. Um, the abdomen study is a contrast study, and we also use the auto injector to inject the contrast in their arm, and then we scan them at the same time. So we'll go check that out too, okay? This is what your typical MRI door is gonna look like. You have a compression here you know, to safely lock. All these warning signs, you know, hearing protection required, no pacemakers, no neurostimulators, you know. Of course, there's some of these that are safe, but we gotta verify, you know what I mean? <laughs> don't bring your watch in there, don't bring your phone in there, it's gonna mess up. That's why we're not gonna bring the camera very close to this machine. And then all you, you see all, <laughs> all the projectiles, you know, you, you can't bring in a, a, a wheelchair, it has to be MRI safe wheelchairs, cleaning crews gotta be careful, you know, O2 tanks, you gotta have an MRI safe O2 tank, okay? That's just a little rundown. And uh, yeah, this is the MRI room. Can't get too close with the camera, but this is it right here. And see that? Looks like a coconut. That's actually a camera. These are uh, these are coils. Basically, these are like antennas, okay? And these, are, this is how we're gonna get the imaging of the patient's abdomen. We're gonna place this over their abdomen, and this is how we're gonna get the pictures, okay? And this plugs into the machine. This is the auto injector. I'm gonna load this up, show you, how, you guys how this works. Of this, you have the injector kit. I'm gonna open that in a minute. Got a bag of saline, and you got the Gadavis, the MRI contrast, okay? Just like that, you just screw it on. Just draw it all up. Short one's gonna go on here. After I load this contrast, then I flush it out. This part is gonna be connected to the patient's IV. When the time comes, we're gonna inject and scan them at the same time. And that's how we get a dynamic, you know, imaging of the abdomen. Thousands of images. Right now I'm scanning a brain. Um, this patient has been uh, having headaches for two to three months. Um, besides that, this patient was claustrophobic. Um, so he requested a sedation. He had to arrive an hour before his table time and he took some Valium. Uh, really helped him out a lot. Are you doing okay? You're gonna run into that a lot. You're gonna have patients that are claustrophobic, don't wanna go in the machine. So it's gonna take a lot of patience and you're gonna have to do everything you can to get that patient to go in the machine. You can't just say, oh, you know, sorry, we can't do you. You're gonna have to, you know, show some compassion, show that you care that you, know, you really want this patient to get done. 
Okay, another situation. Patient came in and we have an order for our right knee, but the patient is complaining of ankle pain, right ankle pain. So I had a call, talked to an MA, talked to a nurse um, to see if we can get a new order for a right ankle. And they went ahead and approved it. They faxed the order. Um, and yeah, those are some things that you're gonna run into and it could be frustrating, but it's nobody's fault really. Um, just be ready to hop on the phone and try to make things happen. The patient showed up 15 minutes past their table time. Okay, what can we do? Um, patient said they were given the wrong time. So it's like, that's gonna happen. Could be frustrating sometimes, but it's not the patient's fault. We gotta just still make it happen, all right? So I'm here 10 hours a day, so I gotta bring a lot of snacks. I got like these, these I don't really know what these are, rice crackers. My son likes them, so they're from Trader Joe's. You know. Then of course I got the trail mix, because you never know. Got all, oh, look, chocolate, cranberries, almonds. I got my hydro flask, coffee. MRI Techs drink a lot of coffee. Of course, you know, we got water. Got water all day. That's it, man. I got, what else I got? I got vitamins in here. You know, other stuff later. I got ice packs, but later, this is uh, kind of like what I'm eating for lunch. Usually I bring like a salad or something, but I got this, man. I got the Hatch Chili Chicken Wraps right here. Trader Joe's. You know, that's what we do. This is a cooler backpack. Yeah, man, you know, whatever. Got my wallet in here just in case. Yeah, man. Got our IV caddy right here. Got your alcohol pad, you got some gauze, you got um, a warmer, you know, for people that have cold veins, cold arms, you know what I mean. You got all kind of different IVs. You got the butterflies, uh, IV, you, know, you got some butterfly needles, straight needles, uh, catheters, you got some saline. Yeah, man, we got everything you need here. We got the GAD, we got some empty syringes, we got more stuff up here. We got the Coflex arm wrap, you know, tape. Got everything you need here at the One Stop Shop. More, look at that. Look at that, man. Look at all that. Look at that. Got enough for the whole town. Come get your MRI. Got you. <laughs> Look at that, man. Make it rain needles in here. More gloves, no large, gotta order some more. Okay, so we're gonna give this to every patient. This is the MR safety screening form. And we have a video um, basically breaking this whole form down so you guys can check that out. This form is just asking if they have any implants, they have a pacemaker, defibrillator, wires, aneurysm clips, neurostimulators, and so on. Screening form. I'm gonna show you why you don't wanna bring this in MRI, okay? Don't try this at home. Don't try it at work. Do not do this. This is, no, this is trained professionals. EMTs on site, all right? This is a three Tesla. See that? We're here. Oh, you saw that. We're good here. Whoa, look at that. I'm walking a dog right now. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. And it's gonna go, whoa. Oh, look at that. See that? Here I'm good. Look at as I start to walk closer. I let go of this, this thing's gonna fly. And guess what? If someone's head is right here. The heavier the metal object is, the faster it's gonna pull and it can strike somebody. Yeah. And that's why you don't bring metal in MRI. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
This is a PET CT. Can't tell you much about that, but maybe we will have somebody on here on the next episode. That's why you gotta subscribe. All right. Don't drop a thing, man. All right. So right now, I feel like I have, I don't know if you guys ever played football. I feel like I have a football helmet. That's how I would describe it. here our pictures show up as they're running which is really cool so this is our coronal our sagittal and our axial it always ends up with this picture of their face and it looks kind of scary. <laughs> Alright, so this is how you set up your sagittal. Can you hear me? Yeah. Alright, I'm just showing them how to set up the sagittal. Everyone, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Alright, you guys heard Everyone's that. Gotta like and subscribe. Look, up, look what I'm doing here, guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs> So this is how you will set up your sagittal slices. So you have your coronal. This is your sagittal. So this is what, what your image is going to look like. You can angle this a little bit if you want. If you need to as a patient's head is tilted back, you can angle that a little bit. But this is basically just to show you what your sagittal will look like. And so you plan your sagittal on a coronal and on an axial. And I'm going to plan an axial for you guys so you guys can see what that's like. Since it's an axial, I'll start either on a coronal or a sagittal. I wouldn't start it here because that's already an axial. So if I click here, I look at my slices. They're going inferior to superior. You see the numbers here, 1 through 27. And again if it's an axial this will just show me on the axial what it's going to look like i can turn this if i needed to if the patient's head was turned a little bit and here again center it make sure it's running pretty parallel now to the iacs and i'm going to look at a single image single box and you can see this artifact here and I don't know if any of you guys can guess what that is, but it is hair products that are in his hair. But yeah, that is MRI man's brain right there, sagittal. Just for you guys. You saw the MRI tech day in the life. Um, typical day for me, it's really busy. Back-to-back -back patients. Each patient we spend anywhere between 15, 30 minutes, sometimes even 45 minutes. Um, and yeah, ups and downs, you know, you have your little problems throughout the day, but you work as a team and you figure it out. And I love being an MRI tech. Like I said, I've been doing it for almost five years and I enjoy just helping people, helping the community. Maybe this is a job you're looking into maybe you just were curious of what we do um, this is just some of the things we we do and deal with today and we did our best to show you guys that anyway there's gonna be a lot of videos coming out a lot more hands-on stuff showing you a lot more so you guys got to subscribe to the video like it share it leave your comments below leave your questions me and Gabby are will do our best to answer them and it's all about just spreading the knowledge and I thank you guys.